All right, folks, I'm going to show you even more interesting things that you can do as you're building your burger painting in case you are very far ahead and want to explore some additional features of Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to show you is how I made this dope onion. And over here in my layers, you'll see that I was starting to get a lot of layers and I was going to be building each onion ring out of two layers. So I made a group. It looks like a little folder. And I have onion purple one, onion white one, onion purple two, onion white two here nested underneath that folder. And I can minimize it to keep things neat. So I have the purple part and the white part as two separate layers. What I did for this is I took my paintbrush, solid white, round, and just stamped a white ring. Then I went into the, pur uh, the purple layer. I picked a color that reminded me of the skin on red onions and I made sure I was in the purple layer, just double checking and I stamped. And for me, it was okay if I stamped a couple times, like overlapping some edges, then took down the opacity a little bit. Nope. Took down the opacity of the layer cause I'm done with the brush. And I grabbed my eraser and I started by erasing, let's see, my brush was 175 pixels. So my eraser, I'm going to make it 165, just 10 pixels smaller. Now I'm erasing a ring of the middle of the purple. Then I want more onion showing, so I'm going to change the brush size to be even smaller. Let's try 150 and stamp. And now I have my onions. And I can then um, adjust the opacity of the purple additionally if I want, make it like super light, super dark, whatever. And then I can merge them down into single layer onions if I want, which I'm actually going to do right now. Layer, merge down, layer, merge down. Now I should have one onion, two onions. Now I wanted to hide the whole stack of onions. I can click the eyeball next to the group. Cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you has to do with layer styles. And these are all different styles that you can adjust and add to a layer. I'm going to go with a drop shadow because this tends to be people's favorite, creates the illusion of depth. And if you decide to do this, you can just play around with all the settings. You can change like opacity, distance, size. You can change the contour. That gets really crazy. Um, make it a little smaller. And now that top onion has a little bit of a shadow to it. If I right click on my onion layer down here, I can copy layer style. Now, if I click on onion two, I can right click and paste layer style. So now both of my onions have the same layer style. If you're ever editing something and you're starting to get confused by the styles you've added, they have their own eyeballs. You can hide them. So there's my onions. This is especially cool with the ketchup because I did try to do a little ketchup painting and it's pretty neat. Um, but one of the layer styles that's available is bevel and emboss. And it tries to create the illusion that something has 3D lighting on it. So that is definitely a fun one to play with for something like a blob of sauce. Um, next thing I'm going to show you, let's hide the ketchup. I kind of want to paste that layer style into the cheese too. I don't see it that much, but it's there. Um, has to do with going up into the adjustments under the image menu. And here you can adjust things like the brightness and contrast levels, curves, which we might get to this year. Um, hue saturation, if I want my lettuce to be a different color, 
whoa, check that out. Um, or if I just want it less saturated, more saturated, lighter or darker, you can play with that in here. You can take a picture that's multiple colors and colorize it so it's all one solid hue. Um, and if you are ahead with this project, feel free to play around, you know, poke around, even if you don't know how something works, and just see what you can get. So image just, oh, there's so many things we could play with. We could invert them, now purple lettuce, control Z. It's kind of digging the way that changing of like the brightness and saturation was looking. Oh, where did I find that? I don't know. Anywho. Maybe I will try bevel and embossing my burger. Nah, that looks real weird. I do not have the patience to play around with it right now. I think that's all the additional skills I'm going to show you guys for right now. If you want to see hidden down here in the extra layers, I'll drag this up so you can see it. I edited the levels of this piece of lettuce. Look how much more amazing it looks. Wow. Cheese, ketchup, onions, fun. All right, enjoy, have fun, make good choices.